So you wanna learn how to make a sandblasting cabinet? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to turn this into this, check it out. Now, if you guys found this video useful or learned anything new, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like, it really does support the channel, and click subscribe for more if you guys enjoyed today's content and wanna see some more like this. So let's get into the video. Now, if you guys are curious, there'll be links down below for all the products used in today's video, including the gun, the sandblaster, the media, uh, and all the materials I use to make it. So if you guys are curious and wanna make this yourself or wanna get all the supplies you need to do sandblasting at home, all of it will be linked down in the description. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. And like I said, today we are making a sandblasting cabinet. So let's go ahead and let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we're gonna need is a cabinet of sorts. And my cabinet today is gonna be a 99 liter clear tub. And make sure you guys get one of these, which is a lid. And we're gonna need to seal this bad boy up uh, so you don't have stuff flying everywhere when you're sandblasting. Now the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come around the edge and we're gonna make our own seal since this one does not have a sealed lid. We're gonna try and make our own seal for this. So let me get creative and let's see what we come up with. I got one tip for you guys for when you guys are picking out a cabinet box, like a clear box like this, is to grab one that does have a sealed lid. Now the only reason I didn't is because they didn't have one that was big enough for what I'm doing. So I I've made my own seal here. As you guys can see, I've used some old shop rag and it actually works out pretty friggin' sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bang out the other side and we can start jumping into the next step. But if you guys pick up one that does have a seal on the lid, you can skip this step altogether. All the baloney aside, we finally have our seal done around on both sides. And now when you put the lid on this guy, it seals up real good. You gotta push down on it to get the latches to clamp in. So this seal works great like a charm. So now let's go ahead and let's jump into the rest of making our sandblasting box. So the next thing we need to know is where we're gonna put our hands inside the box. So it's gonna be kind of find somewhere that's comfortable and relaxed, not too close together, not too far apart. And we're gonna drill some holes through the boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and let's mark out where, uh, where we want our hands to go. So this is where I went and I bought some plumbing supplies and then this is gonna be what goes inside the hole that's gonna hold the glove and be able to put your hand through this to go inside the box. And then the box stays sealed with the glove being attached on this, which I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a sec. But first, we need to go ahead, measure out this hole and cut it and then stick these guys inside of here. Man, I suck at drawing circles. Let's try that again. I can draw circles worth of crap, so I'm gonna make a template. We're gonna stick this guy on here, draw a circle around here, cut this out, stick it up on there, draw around it, because it's easier to draw around, and then we'll cut it out. So let's do that like this, ready? And bam, just like that. Now we got our little template. Let's go ahead and stick that up on there and draw a proper circle. Now, is this necessarily the perfect tool to do this with? No, is it gonna work? Hells yeah, it is, so let's get to it. One blade. Boom, there's our first hole. Let's see how it fits so far. Take our piece here. Oh wow, when you look at that first time? Not too bad, boys. Now you got your armholes. Sick. Press, that's so tight. Don't even need to glue it, but I'm gonna, just to make sure we don't have any debris come flying out. But that is coming together great. Let's go ahead and pop over to the other side. Boom, just like that, boys. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if this one fits or if we need to do a little more trimming. Uh, just a fraction more off this one side here. Let's give this a shot. Oh, like a glove. Look at that, Batman. So I'm sure you guys can see it starting to take shape. Putting your hand through and now you're inside the box. You can hold whatever you're holding and then put your other hand in the other hole and uh, hold the gun. So we're coming along here with some ideas. Now we just need to go ahead and get some, some hot glue and let's finish sealing up these armholes. All right, so now that we have our glue gun nice and heated up, we're gonna go ahead and let's glue some of these holes up. And we're doing this so that none of the particles or the glass bead uh, or anything you're blasting with uh, doesn't come out of the tank and blow into your face. Okay, just like that, got one done, just like that. Now 
Now, because these are gonna be taking the weight of you bearing your arm on them and pushing and pulling on them, I'm gonna go ahead and go around this inner seal here and glue it here as well. So they have two-sided glue seal. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, we're gonna need gloves. So let's go ahead and attach the gloves to the box. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna start by just taking our glove. We're gonna stick the glove inside the box. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part of the outside of it. And we're gonna roll it upside, inside out. Now you can stick your hand in there. Be able to grab the gun and spray whatever you're spraying. So to secure the glove, we're gonna use a couple zip ties. I'm gonna put two zip ties together here, and then we're gonna wrap the zip tie around the outside of the glove. Come in and snip these guys off, and we'll have the glove stuck on into the box. Boom, just like that, you got one glove on there, dude. So with a little bit of magic, let's go ahead and put this thing inside the box like, boom, just like that, we got our two gloves on. Hell yeah, dude, let's go. All right, so now we got our two gloves that come into the box like so. So you can go ahead, just walk up, stick your arm in, boom, you're inside the box. Bada bing, bada boom, hell yeah, brother. So now that we got somewhere we can put our hands inside the box, now we need to make a vent. If you don't make a vent, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have cycloning happening inside of the sandblasting box, and you're pretty much just not gonna be able to see because it's literally gonna be a tornado inside there. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make some vents on this and make sure they're filtered vents. They can't just be open vents or else you're gonna have media blowing all outside of it and making a huge mess. So let's make some filtered vents. Now when choosing a spot to have a vent, it's gonna be important that you, you figure out which hand is your dominant hand. Now I'm right hand dominant, so we're gonna be using this one to hold the gun meaning we're gonna be spraying that way so if you put a vent right here you're probably gonna have a whole bunch of media trying to blow through your air filter so for us we're gonna stick the vent up on the right hand side of the box uh, and that should help alleviate spraying uh, media outside of the box since we're spraying to the left so let's go ahead and we're gonna cut a hole up in here we're just gonna use some YouTube magic and cut a hole right here like this Boom, just like that. We got this thing all nice and glued in, sealed in there. That's our filter. So now I'm actually gonna show you how to make the actual filter itself uh, so that there's a mesh and some sort of screen for the air to actually go through so that particles don't just go out. Cause right now it's just one big open hole, which won't do nothing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to build the filter. Let's do that. Now for building this filter, it's the same kind of idea with the gloves, except for this time we're gonna be using dryer sheets and we're gonna put dryer sheets over the end. And same thing, you're gonna use a zip tie and zip zip tie this on there and then boom, you got an air filter. So let's go ahead and throw these together and uh, zip tie them on there. Boom. All right, and just like that, we now have our seal and this box is almost ready to rock and roll. So now we have our holes cut with our gloves set. We've got our filter up in the right corner to make sure that we're not spraying into it, which will be spraying mostly into the left corner. Now the one last thing to do is make a hole for the line to run through. So we're gonna make a hole somewhere here down on the right hand side uh, as this is the hand that will be holding the gun. So the line's gonna come from somewhere down in here. So now it's time to measure the size of the actual line or the hose that you're running off your gun. And then we're gonna run it to the gun through the tank and be ready to shoot some sandblasting media. All right, next day here, we are out day two building our sandblasting box. So where we last left off, I showed you guys a gun that had the hopper on top. Now, if you wanted to just work with that and go from there, you guys would be totally set up at this point. All you'd have to do is do the one more hole to get the gun line into the box and you could be blasting away. Now, this is where we're gonna go and take it from being ordinary to extraordinary. So let's go ahead and we're gonna step our game up and we're gonna go from one that has a hopper on top to one that is self-feeding so you don't run out of sandblast media right away. Now, the other one's great if you're doing smaller parts and only doing it for a short period of time, but you're gonna have to constantly refill that. So the way we're doing it now is gonna be self-feeding so you don't run out of material when you're sandblasting. So you guys can see here, we got our new gun. Now, this gun is a self-feeding gun, so it has the hose and this metal barb here and this metal barb is gonna what picks up the media. So what we're gonna end up doing is filling the bottom of this box with the media. Then you place your object inside to sandblast. And then the media, as it comes back, we're gonna make this so this is actually tilted up. So the media falls back into the corner and it picks back up the media into the gun and you can just keep on shooting away. So that is how we're gonna take this from ordinary to extraordinary and make it have a self feeding gun. So now after showing you guys, the pickup tube would we'll be running along the side. We got two Sharpie markers here where we're gonna drill holes. And then we got two on the bottom as well. And then we're gonna sit the tube inside the box, which would go down in like so. 
and then we'll be able to have any holes here and we'll zip tie it on and then glue the holes so no debris can get out. Like so. Okay. You wanna seal up all your air fittings on tape? Now why would you use Teflon tape? To seal the thread so it doesn't leak. So you don't have an air leak on your gun, right? So you guys are gonna make sure you Teflon tape all your threads that are going into this. Go down through here, okay. So that's what we're, you're gonna aim at, right? Okay. So now we've got our hole for our air line to run into the gun. So now you guys can see we got our air water separator mounted on the counter and that runs up into the gun, which is crucial. You have to run one of these Otherwise, you're just gonna clog your gun up all the time. So this is probably one of the most expensive pieces of the build, but you need it. So we just had our very first test hit of the box and you can see that stuff absolutely eats the rust off this stuff. So as you guys can see, this thing can put in some work and uh, you guys know where I'll be for the next week is out here just doing a whole bunch of sandblasting and stuff. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you learned how to make a sandblasting cabinet, make sure you go down below, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And if you're gonna do this yourself, make sure you get a sealed box. Let me tell you what, just get a sealed box. It'll be way easier, just do it. Anyways, till the next one, peace out. I'm Aaron Greenway, this is my channel. See you guys later, peace out.